So has by far the nicest fleece in the class. She has a ringlet fleece from her neck to her bridge, and uh, she's uniform. It's uh, it's kid hair, average kid. It's really not even hair. It's kid hair. It's a beautiful fleece. Uh, what would I like to change about the goat? Um, when I when I evaluate my goats, I give them a ranking according to how thick a rib they have. And uh, I have just my own system. But if you'll notice the goat in second place, it's a much thicker rib goat, it's deeper body, it's not as long body, but it's thicker across the top, deeper in the rib, and has a better body conformation. The goat in first place is a little narrower, and uh, she's adequate enough size and thick enough to have a kid and raise kids and still produce more hair. We want to be able to do both. We want them not just the more hair and not be able to produce a kid. We want to be able to produce a kid and more hair both. So you have to kind of get those two factors into combination. And so if I had the body of the second place with the fleece in the first place, I wouldn't even be talking about any of this. It would be an easy choice. But we do a balancing act, and we have all these different factors, and we have different weights. 